I am Dr. Vijay Kher, President of the Indian Society of Nephrology. We are here at the 48th Indian Society uh, of Nephrology Annual Conference and we have with us Dr. Pradeep Arora. Dr. Pradeep Arora has been uh, a nephrologist of great repute. Uh, he worked with us at Sanjay Gandhi Postgraduate Institute and then uh, went to US and has been working on kidney disease in various uh, forms and has done some uh, extremely good work, research work in area of uh, very commonly used drugs uh, which till uh, late until his research uh, we didn't know that these drugs can be uh, harmful uh, not only for the kidney but even otherwise also especially if they are misused and these drugs are proton pump inhibitors these are drugs which are called anti-acid drugs actually used very commonly in our country for purposes of gas uh, and they are available over the counter and these drugs could be used for a short period of time but mm, even amongst doctors uh, if you look at the usage of this drug across specialities be it cardiologists, nephrologists, uh, internal medicine, uh, uh, orthopedic surgeons, general surgeons, these drugs are the most common used prescriptions given to the patients. And, uh, Unfortunately, these drugs should be discontinued after some period of time. They should not be used continuously. Uh, I will ask now Dr. Pradeep Arora to tell us more about the, the toxicity of uh, prolonged use of uh, these anti-acid drugs. So most of our data is based on uh, cohort studies. It has uh, PPIs are known to cause acute renal failure, and there is a cause for that, which goes most of the time undetected because it is asymptomatic. And a undetected acute renal failure may many times lead to chronic kidney disease, and it is becoming one of the important causes of chronic kidney disease in the United States, and I believe all over the world. Uh, it can cause chronic kidney disease, as I said, and it leads to several electrolyte disturbances and most important is low serum magnesium level uh, which has its own effect uh, on several other uh, body parts including endothelium. Dr. Arora, uh, where would you think that uh, we should educate our uh, doctors as well as the public at large uh, for appropriate usage of these drugs. So what, what do you have to say that where would you think uh, these drugs should be used? Because these drugs are also beneficial drugs actually. At, at least in certain conditions they need to be used. But which are those conditions and where should doctors be careful about as to when should they stop it and when they should not continue to use it? So there are definite indication for using PPIs in uh, seven indications which are approved by FDA in America. Uh, those include mainly reflux, include uh, different acid secreting diseases, uh, prevention of non steroidal induced uh, peptic ulcer disease and uh, in many other uh, H. pylori associated uh, peptic ulcer disease. Their use is recommended. What is happening nowadays is I was talking to one of my friend in All India Institute who is professor of gastroenterology. He tells me that 40% of Indian population takes uh, PPI and they don't even consider that they are taking a medication. And uh, most important reason he tells me is uh, that uh, we are taking this pill so that we can eat whatever we want to eat uh, today. Yeah. and. And I think uh, the conditions that you talked about, uh, uh, they're also, in most of these conditions, the drug should be used for a shorter period of time, maybe six to eight weeks at the most, and then discontinue these drugs. There are very rare diseases where this drug may have to be continued for a longer period of time, but otherwise, most of the conditions that you talked of, usually the 
the duration of this drug therapy should not be beyond uh, at least uh, six to eight weeks. Uh, unfortunately, as you said, that people are using these drugs continuously for purposes of feeling good or as you said that they get gaseous distension and with overheating probably and to feel comfortable about it continue to overeat which also increases uh, diabetes and obesity and all other diseases lifestyle diseases uh, including chronic kidney disease and on top of this drug continued usage of this drug would produce multiple episodes of acute kidney injury and then leading to chronic kidney disease. So I, I feel that this is something which the public should be aware about and I hope our physicians also start realizing that these drugs should not be used for a long period of time and in fact make uh, deliberate attempts to, to discontinue or to uh, write off these drugs whenever they see these prescriptions going on for too long a period of time. I, I think it's, it's important for the public to be made aware and that's the reason why I think the, the media, both the news media, the writing uh, as well as the TV and other channels uh, must, must sort of emphasize the, the toxicity of this uh, continued usage of this drug. And I would like to thank Dr. Pradeep Arora for coming over here to highlight the research that he has done on these drugs and also bring out that these drugs can be harmful uh, if not used properly. Thank you. I think that should be